Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. This channel comes with a warning. Becoming a pet parent might make you do things like record YouTube videos. <laughs> so here we are. Hi all, my name is Wanda and I'm about to become a pet parent and I am so incredibly excited that I wanted to share with you guys um, a list of the things that I have been able to purchase in preparation to bring my puppy home and also for a really good price, so stay tuned. All right, so for starters, I want to mention that in order to prepare for my puppy, the first thing I thought was to go to an actual like pet shop type of place, right? Like a Petco or PetSmart where they sell everything for puppies. I chose to do this because I know at the um, puppy store, like where you're actually purchasing um, your pet from, they're gonna have, of course, all of the essentials, everything they need, but it's going to be a little bit pricier than if you looked around. So I thought maybe I'll go to, you know, Petco and that's exactly what I did. That was my first stop. And um, I did make a few purchases, some that I will return because I continued to look and I found better prices in other stores like HomeGoods and Target. So I'm going to share my first find. Um, at Petco, I found a bed. Um, and I like the bed. I didn't love it. It was $40. I thought if I can find anything else within the time frame that I need to get it within, which was a few days, then I would go back to that one. However, your girl went to Home Goods because I love shopping there and I know that they have a selection for pets. And I scored this awesome bed. It is beautiful. It is soft, it is plush, it is brown. I would like to sleep here if I was a puppy, so I'm pretty sure my baby Gordo is really going to enjoy sleeping in this bed. It is from the brand Wags and Smiles, and it cost me $20. So that's a really awesome find, considering the one that I saw at Petco was double that. Okay, so that is where puppy will sleep. Really quickly, we're gonna go on to the next thing that I purchased, also at Home Goods, for $2.99, and it is this mat. It's really cute, it's great, it's got the paw prints going on, cause, you know, cuteness. And pretty much this mat will hold um, the puppy's bowls. The bowls I got from Target, and I found these little guys. Um, it was $7.99 each, so of course I got two of them, and um, it was nothing special. I mean, it's, you know, the puppy just needs a place to sleep. I didn't like the ones that I found at Petco or um, at HomeGoods, and what I found is that there uh, at HomeGoods, they had a lot of, like, the ones that come with the wooden kind of stand to elevate the food, and those are more for, like, larger dogs. This is, like, um, I'm not sure if you can see it. But it's kind of just like speckled. It's got like really faint dots in gray, I believe. And it's like, I'm not sure if the color is gray or white, but whatever. Who cares? It goes. I got two of those, $7.99. Um, the next thing I got is puppy pads. Ah, uh, $10 for $50. All right, which is awesome. Also found um, at Home Goods a bunch of toys. Y'all, if you need to get toys for your pups, Home Goods is that place. I found um, this guy right here. <laughs> He's just like a regular, I don't know, like. Oh, it squeaks. Does it? No, it doesn't do anything. It says squeak and tug me. Where does it squeak? I kept pressing this everywhere. Well, it's nothing special. I just figured this would be um, my puppy's buddy that he takes everywhere. I feel like all puppies kind of like have that that one toy that they drag around everywhere. And I just really like this little guy. So I hope he likes him. He was four bucks. The next toy I got for him at Home Goods was this llama. <laughs> Tell me this isn't the cutest thing. And listen to the sound it makes. My baby is going to love this, okay? I know that they go crazy for things like this that have that sound. And um, this was only $5 and super cute, so I couldn't leave it. Got him that. 
and also um, on sale for three dollars I got in this little reptile so I don't know if it's a alligator or a crocodile it's one of the two but um three dollars y'all so this is a keeper I don't think I'll give him all the toys at once because I realized these all three of these are very similar but I just kind of wanted to have you know a little inventory for when he messes one up or you know whatever um, three dollars is a steal couldn't leave it considering at Petco I bought um, a similar toy for $12.99 so I mean that was like I don't know. I got like three for the price of what I got for like two at Petco. So don't sleep on home goods. Now, speaking of Petco though, I did find this rope tug. Looks like that. And, you know, I think just dogs like this kind of stuff. Like they like to tug on it and chew and get it all slimy and slobbery. So it's just a little rope. I think, you know. It's important for them to have different kinds of toys as well um, to stimulate just like their curiosity and so that they're not bored with the same type of toy. So this is definitely a keeper. It was, I think, um, maybe three bucks or four. So that was at Petco. The next thing I found at Petco was this ball, which lights up. Ten dollars, but it's a keeper. I mean, it's the lights for me. If I think it's fun, I think my puppy will think it's fun. Oh, and the last thing I bought at Petco were these treats. These are peanut butter flavored, um, crunchy treats. They're quite big and my pup is like a baby. And so I'm going to have to kind of crush these and break it up into smaller pieces so that it can eat it better. Um, but I just, you know, his food is not going to be peanut butter flavored, so I wanted to kind of, you know, make the treat something really fun. So I got that. Um, okay, now I'm going to go into uh, Marshall's finds, and there I found um, these things. They're teething rings. I, the puppies, they're going to start teething eventually into their adult teeth, so... Yeah, I just thought pick up some of these. They were on clearance for five fifty, y'all. I left me a red tag at Marshalls and at Home Goods and wherever else, so I could not pick. I could not not get them. Um, the only thing that I am concerned about is just that the feeding directions. It starts at five pounds to ten pounds, um, and it doesn't have like the recommended amount for a dog that's that weighs less than that. So, yeah, I think I may just have to, like, chop it up into, you know, again, small pieces. Um, but, yeah, whatever. Teething rings at Marshall's. I also, at Marshall's, found this oatmeal eucalyptus 2-in-1 shampoo and conditioner. And it says, Dog Mom approved. So, if Dog Mom say it's good, it must be good, right? Um... If anyone knows me, they know that eucalyptus is one of my favorite scents ever. I shower with it. I put it in my lotion. I have it in my shampoo and conditioner. I have my hand wash in that scent. <laughs> I diffuse oils in my home in eucalyptus scent. So I just love it. So of course when I saw this, it was a no-brainer. It smells heavenly, of course, and um, the thing about eucalyptus, though, is that it can it can be very strong, um, and so what I like about it is that it has um, oatmeal as well, so I think the oatmeal kind of tones down the, the potent eucalyptus scent, and um, yeah, it's two-in-one, so I don't have to worry about shampoo and conditioner, so I was able to get two of these, and because that's all they had, and I grabbed both, best belief, because again, they were and clearance for $5.50. That was like the magic price that day at Marshall's. So I grabbed both of those that they had. And then I also got waste bags because, you know, your dog is going to do the do. And uh, you got to be prepared, you know. So this one even comes with like a cute little dispenser in there so that you can put the roll of bags inside and then dispense. So whatever. Again, <laughs> 550 y'all I could not make this up 
it was my day it was my day it's like the universe knew wanda was getting ready to bring a puppy home and um yeah got that and then the last thing i got um was oh i put it on my rug and now it's a little bit hairy because my my rug is made of wool <sighs> but it was um this dual brush so it's got two sides to it so over here you know it's got like the the bristle well the wire brush rather and then in the back it's got the bristle piece so um i don't really know how the baby's <laughs> the fur baby's coat will be in terms of taking care for it but i figured i have both in one in case you know i need to use one over the other um so yeah that was again at marshall's you see the red tag it was on clearance four dollars ka-ching so i got again a place for it to sleep where it's gonna eat i got in some toys for stimulation and i've got the poop bags i've got the puppy pads and treats these are just some essentials to start off um i'm obviously missing a a few other things as well i think those will come in time like i wanted to get him a little toothbrush and stuff like that but i mean i don't think i'll really be brushing his teeth for now and also um i am quite picky when it comes to to these things um and i like to take my time and kind of like finding quality um purchases right so yeah, that's something that I can get like later on. I also didn't get like a leash or a collar for him yet because he is just a baby and um, he's got some growing to do. He's not even going to be like outside yet. So there's some time, but again, just for starters, this is what I've got. I think I'm in a good place. Um, there's one more thing I didn't show, um, but maybe I'll show you. Give me one second. Okay. <laughs> You're like, what the hell? Probably, right? So this is like a little gate, um, a wooden gate. It's awesome. It is solid wood. It is heavy. I love the look of it. I love this kind of wood. Um, and I found it also in Home Goods. It was $60. And I kept going back and forth on whether I should get like a, a traditional kennel or a crate. And I really don't like the look of either of those two i feel like the wiry one kind of looks like puppy jail and then the kennel just is not like pleasing <laughs> to the eye so i'm just like hmm how else can i kind of ensure that my puppy has like a a designated space for him right um so i thought to get this and what i'm going to do is kind of mm, I don't know, put it up against the corner so as to make like a little room for him where he can, um, his bed can be stored and his blanket and his toys. So that's the last thing I got. After spending so much money on a puppy, um, you don't have to like go super into, you know, and spend all of this money to get him like, you know, really nice things. I feel like I've got um, everything at a pretty like affordable and decent price. And I think I just kind of got lucky to get it all at once um, this way, like, you know, and at prices that were affordable. Uh, but if you are preparing for a puppy, I say just kind of like start looking around even before you have it. Um, because last minute, you don't want to be pressed for time and having to just like purchase whatever is there um, because that's what's available, you know, so... Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like this kind of content, let me know in the comments um, or give me a thumbs up. Or if you want to see more stuff about puppies, I am definitely going to upload another video when I bring my puppy home just to update on how he's doing and um, all of the fun things that come with that. Thank you guys for sticking around and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!